a couple says they're taking a gap year from their marriage. <laughs> Keith, Keith likes the idea. Keith is clapping over so there. So this mm -hmm. wife says she and her husband were having the typical, you know, marital problems on top of trying to blend their two families. So they have kids with other people. Um, so the wife, she just moved out of the house. Oh, it's a for real She gap. says she just focused on herself, her kids, and some of her own needs for a year. And eventually, after about six months, she and her husband realized they genuinely missed each other, and they reconnected. It took six months? It, it took six months, so they took a, a six-month <laughs> gap just away from each other. I know, but it took six months for you to realize you missed her? Yeah. Okay. It just sounds like a long time <laughs> to start missing someone. The, the Rolodex uh, <laughs> it only lasted six months. Yeah, what are the parameters? Are you allowed to do stuff with other people in this gap? Well, I don't know about that. Yourself? Sam found this story. I don't know if they're allowed to get it on with somebody else or not. Like, is there a hall pass with this gap year? <laughs> I, I, would, I would think so. Let's ask this, an authority on uh, marriage and families, and that's Mike Greenwich, our great photographer and producer. Hi, Mike. Good afternoon, Mike. Hey, Carrie. What's happening, Alex? Hey. If you took six months away from your wife... She's not taking me back, Mike. It's, just, it's a no-brainer, brother. It's a no-brainer, man. Like, you know, parameters, no parameters. She's not throwing me back in the street and bringing me back home after six months. That's just not an option in my house. So, uh, you know, if it worked for these people, good for them, not working in the Greenwich household. I'll be darned. <laughs> so, but if, if, you, if oh. you were guaranteed that she would take you back, would you do it? No. Oh? No, because I mean, I'm, you know, what's the sense in leaving and going out in the street if I can't just live the life that we're all thinking about living if we wouldn't have got married, right? So right. I'm not going to go out here and run the streets and. And, and be here and then and go back home to, to my wife and act like everything is sweet again and have her throw these things back at me later on. No, I'm not playing that game. This sounds like a setup to me, man. I'm not, I'm not getting caught up in that. All right. <laughs> I, I had two tickets to Turks and Caicos. It's the two of us. Well, that's different, to... Mike. That's not a gap year. That's just a weekend trip. <laughs> I'm down for that, brother. It's like, I can get that. Like, I can oh. get a gap weekend, but a gap year? That's the next level of the game, man. <laughs> okay, then it's back on. A couple of mics down in Turks and Caicos. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know, Karen, are you take a gap year? No, there's too much damage. Exactly. Just everything it's... would just mess it, you know, uh-uh. No trust, no whatever. It's just, a, it's not even, it's not even worth it, you know? That's what I'm so saying. So just Mike will sign up for that? Mike Jerry? No, oh, I do a gap year, no, no oh. question. <laughs> He's doing hey, a gap uh, year thanks now. a lot, Mike. Uh, All right, guys. See you later. Uh, so the weather is really nice. I like the actual cool temperatures. This is a good time to go out in the backyard and grill.